isn't the truth that people have been playing with time travel for up to what four thousand years ago? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, as a concept, uh, different forms of uh, time travel have been around since uh, at least the uh, Iron Age, Iron Age Vedics um, in uh, India, and uh, the story of uh, who was it, uh, Kukun- Kukunmi? Uh who uh went before brahma and uh was uh uh at his court for uh what appeared to be a number of hours and while he was there but then turned out to be essentially thousands of years uh in, on earth uh while he was gone uh had passed uh also in uh adapa the story of uh, Adapa and the uh, uh, trial of Pazuzu. Um, Adapa was uh, one of the Abgal uh, uh, fish priests of uh, the Anunnaki in Sumer. And uh, one day he was on his boat and Pazuzu, the southwest wind knocked him off his boat. And so he cursed Pazuzu and then Pazuzu took him to court over that and sued him took him to the court of Anu uh, the sky god and uh, while Adapa was there Inki told him not to eat any of the food or drink any of the uh, beverages that he may be offered uh, because they were poison and he would surely die Uh, but then during his trial uh, Anu uh, found his his case uh, you know, so favorable in his in his favor that uh, offered him the food and drink of immortality, and Adapa declined. And according to the ancient Sumerian legends, that's why we're mortal now. Mm. Uh, both of those are examples of uh, time invariance or time dilation between um, different uh, time frames, the different referential frames of time. Uh, being uh, when Adapa was in the court of Anu, he was uh, uh, there for a certain amount of time, and on Earth, a uh, different amount of time passed in the same way with uh, me when he went before Brahma. And the also, stories are like 3,500 and 4,000 years old. <laughs> 